AF is the best. You know, <laughs> this guy. Um, ah, we're live. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's the Ten Crack Commandments. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bonce. I've been in this game for years. It makes me an animal. There's rules to the shit. A step by step booklet for you to get. Mm. Ooh. I see. Rule number uno. Never Son let no divine, one sweep man. your ass and you lose five straight games because you know. Best Gosh, records bring sure. jealousy. Oh, here we go. All right. All right. All right. There comes a, there comes a time in life that I don't want to hear nothing positive. <laughs> like, let me be angry for like an hour, yo. Let me let me get emotional. Let me get Ow. you know what I mean. Like, let me get just tight. You know what I mean. Like, I, as long as I'm not being disrespectful to you. Let me be tight, B. Let me yep. be mad and angry. And, just, and you know what I mean? Like, let me punch the air for a bit. And then I'll come back and be like, hey, you know what? Yeah. Right? Never get high off your own supply. Number five, never saw no crack. Where you rest at? I don't care if they want an ounce. <laughs> Tell them bounce. Yeah, let me be mad, B. Number seven, the goddamn credit, forget it. You think a crackhead paying you back shit, forget it. Mm. That credit that the Yankees have built, stop. All right, let's start this fucking podcast. Why does this shit keep happening, bro? Everybody's telling me that the 98 and 99 years. No, I, I don't want to hear it. Had a, had a losing streak right. in August. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to. Right. <laughs> don't talk to me about 98. Yeah, All right. Don't talk to me about none of that shit, baby. All right, guys. Today is August 7th. <laughs> I go to Jersey for a weekend. To do the Blitzball tournament, we will we won't talk about all that. I go to Jersey for a weekend, and guess what? The Yankees get swept in St. Louis. What's going on? Yankees lose five straight games. It is their it is their high water mark for losses, consecutive losses. That sucks. The bullpen right now is getting destroyed. What's going on with the offense when the bullpen actually hold things down? You know what? It's one of those weird things where you can get starting pitching, you can get the good pitching, but then the offense doesn't show up, or the offense shows up and then the pitching doesn't, or then, you know, people are hurt, and then they're saying, if this is the regular, this is just a regular degler game it doesn't really matter who cares the astros are a half game back of the yankees the blue jays are continue to lose so they're not even pushing the yankees there and maybe that is where there is no urgency and we're going to talk about that <sighs> and more <laughs> and more <laughs> on the pinstripe sean podcast let's do it all right no, no fucking. All music. right, so guys, <laughs> no music. We getting, we getting right into this shit. No dude. music, no hey. music. My man said, <laughs> "You got swept, B. Swept. You have to like when you say it. You have to like pronounce every letter. So what?" Period. Swap it. Swap you got swept it. That sound like a dembo song. Swap it. Swap it. Bro, swap it. It's... Yo, uh... <sighs> All right. Disgusting. Chris. Yo. That's nasty. How are you doing? Um, it's a loaded question. Um, I'm I'm frustrated. Um. I'm disgusted. Uh, 
I feel like everybody else's <laughs> trade is working. <laughs> like everybody is a, the Mets. The guys the Mets got is fucking hitting bombs. Uh, Trey Mancini is is going crazy. You know, I mean, Luis Castillo shut us down. Monty shut us oh, down. Oh, we're about to face him again in a couple of days. Oh yeah, of course. And Julio Rodriguez, because you know, but these games don't matter, right? Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, whatever. See, I don't want to hear, you know, because I'll be going through Twitter and everything like that. And, and you know, I, I try not to rain on anybody else's parade, but I'm tired of hearing, well, you know, the Yankees did this in the beginning. I don't give a fuck what happened in April. You know what? Or whatever. I don't care about you that. You know right? what, Chris? Rain on the fucking parade because you shouldn't have <laughs> parades in August. Exactly. Okay? Parades happen at the end of October to the last team standing. Last so if you're having a parade, standing. you're in the wrong mentality. You're in the wrong mentality. You're in the wrong mindset. Like right now, I'm not thinking about what the Yankees and the, the, the all the streaks and, and the walk-offs and all that shit. That's not what have you done for me lately. You're in a five-game losing streak. What the fuck am I supposed to be happy about? You know what I mean? Like, oh, we still got we still got a, a ten-game lead, and it's August seventh. I don't care about a ten-game lead in August seventh. Now we're talking about middle of September, whatever. But we got a team right now that that doesn't look at these games with high importance, with high urgency. You know what I mean? And, and that's why that's why I like what Monta said. We'll talk about it in a three up, three down, but. I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to, to, to see the positive. I'm trying to see, like, hey, maybe, you know, it's this happened in this game and this happened to this this player or whatever. But it's tough. It's tough. Um, but, you know, we'll get into it. This is therapy. Strong therapy. How you doing, Joe? Guys, you need to understand something right now. Um, I could give you a soliloquy. <laughs> About <laughs> how great things are, and I can sit here and tell you how amazing. And you know what? There will be a part of the podcast where that happens, but right now is oh, not yeah. the time. Um, <laughs> it is not the time. <laughs> I will be telling you that it is 162 one-game seasons. Uh, we went to a bar Saturday night after the long warehouse days, and I'm going there, and I'm there with Jake. And I'm there with Zoe, and I'm there with Lou Dab, and I'm there Gang. with Gang. Kyle McDonald, and I'm there with Colin, who is his boy and on his on the McFlurry team. And I'm looking up at the Yankees, and it's Monty, I'm like seeing five shotty. And I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. Because my Herman is actually pitching well. Yes. And it's one zip. I'm like, all right, whatever. I look up again. It's like the, it's the you know, seventh inning, one zip. Eighth inning, one zip. Ninth inning, one zip. <laughs> I'm looking at 12 o'clock, still one zip. It's, the Yankees lost, one zip. One zip! Like, <laughs> just break it, you'll break it. Just one zip. <laughs> but, and, it's annoying <laughs> because, yes, the Yankees had once had the best record in baseball. Yes, the Yankees once had the best record in all of baseball, yes. But I'll tell you that um, <laughs> I'm, I'm watching the game. I'm like, can we hit the ball somewhere? Like, can we, can we find some grass? Can we, like, not, like, mess up out here? Can we just get something going? Um in the first game, I know, guys, I know St. Louis is a good team. They are. They're 9-1 and one in their last 10. A good reason because the last three they swept. But they're up on the Central. Yeah, one. I mean, they're number one in the Central, the NL Central. But you guys know how I feel about the Central. Mm -hmm. um, in any division. And then now the things that are supposed to be sure things are not kind of like sure things. Now, these are the dog days of August. But guys, this is 162 one-game seasons, and the reason why we do a podcast after every series and not every month is because we are live reacting to what is happening. 
you imagine doing a whole month of <laughs> game? You're like, wow, well, it's not that bad. The Yankees actually went out. No, no, it's like a whole different vibe, guys. Yeah, that's not cool. So, all right, so we'll get into the games. We'll do that. We'll do the three up, three down. We'll do the awards later on. Um, we'll do... Um... Break down the series. Yeah. <laughs> we do all that. It's time for three up, three down. Three up. <laughs> <laughs> This is where we discuss, you know, certain things that we find positive, happy. There are three up and three down. Yeah, man. And let's start. Well, and the down obviously is the the bad, the negative. Yes. But we'll start with the happy. You know, we we'll start be happy, with the right? good. The good. So uh, I want to give a shout out. I want to give a up to the St. Louis Cardinals faithful. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Treated my guy. Matt Carpenter with so much love. Yes. Yeah, you know, y'all gave him a 45 second standing ovation. And how about Yadi and Molina walking out you know, to make Molina. sure that he gets a longer <laughs> ovation? Yes. And that's his and, buddy. He hugged him. And yeah, he is, is amazing. Uh, St. Louis, that's definitely one, uh, one uh, park that I want to go to. Uh, yes. That I want to visit for sure. Uh, St. Louis faithful, amazing fans. You know, uh, so shout out to them for sure. Another up uh, is Ma, uh, Montas attitude. His attitude. His attitude. They ask him like, "Hey, man, like, you know, this is your first start as a Yankee." You know, da da da. He was like, "Hey, listen, man, this is my first start, not my last start." Ooh. You know. So I'm like, "Okay, buddy." And I, I didn't even know Montas uh, speaks. Uh, you know, a good, a very good English. Bro, you saw, you saw like from like the Bronx, low key, yeah, like, y'all, like man. Like, yeah, I'll tell you right now, bro. <laughs> first of all, you gonna, you gonna, you gonna chill with the disrespect. All right, facts. All right, <laughs> and then like a homie comes out, like, "Yo, facts." <laughs> you gonna chill with the disrespect? I just got here. I, I still, I, I don't even like, I don't even have my luggage, homie. Like, you know what yeah, I mean? Like, I that's how he's talking. Here. He's like, <laughs> bro, who? Are you? That's what he's saying. He's like, I'm just here, okay? It's my first start. I wasn't just traded for this start. I was right. traded for all the starts. No, exactly. So, um, I, I definitely love what he said. I actually, you know, if you want to, we'll play it right here real quick. Um, numbers this year, how disappointing is it been? This kind of an outing in your first start. I, mean, I want to go out there, you know, like showing what I can do. You know, uh, that was not the case today, but this is not my last one. You know, this is the first one. Big one. <laughs> he just straight to it, B. I like that attitude. The whole thing, he took he took accountability. Uh, he didn't talk about the fact that he was away for 11 days. He didn't talk about his personal situation. And, you know, uh, condolences, obviously, to him and his family. Uh, it was his mother-in-law who passed away. But... Uh, mm. He didn't, he didn't. He didn't uh, bring that up. He was just like, "Hey, listen, this, this is not as you heard. This is not my my last start. This is my first start, and we'll pick it up from there." I like that attitude. I do. Because um, I, I seen a lot of people. I mean, I don't. I don't watch Garrett Cole's uh, pre, you know, uh, post game interviews or anything like that. But I see. I've been seeing a lot of people talk about how cold. You know, he's it's always some somebody else's fault. <laughs> with, with the situation. All the weather and the, yeah. uh, <laughs> the weather uh, time uh, starting and ooh. all that. Montas. Oh, I, oh, you know, oh, Kyle Higashioka's catching me. <laughs> <laughs> and you know Thank what you. I'll say to Cole? I'm yeah. here to tell you right now. We don't care. Let me tell you, we don't care. <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> we don't care, Cole. Perform, dude. Pop. Get the job done, buddy. And uh, Montas like, yo, don't worry. We coming, we're coming back in. We got we do we're gonna do what we gotta do. Uh and the last up, uh, I'll let Joe take over from here. <laughs> so guys, of course. The last up will be on the bright side. So me and Chris are gonna freestyle mm -hmm. on the bright side things. Things that are that we should be looking at on the bright side. And guys, maybe you guys could be able to write things in the chat as well. As you guys are going on, so people are in the YouTube chat right now, and they're there, they're commenting, they're talking and whatnot, and you guys follow my lead. 
<laughs> Yankees have a five game losing streak. Mm. On the bright side, they're going through all this shit right now and they don't have their best hitter, one of their best hitters in Giancarlo Stanton, which is actually giving Judge less pitches to hit. I'll say that. That'll be one thing. The Yankees right now, right? I'll say this. The Yankees right now um, are missing three. I, I want to say three. Three, right? Him, uh, Giancarlo, Rizzo, and... Um, uh, what is this? The guy that we just picked up? Um, I forgot his name, though. Shit, no, name Harrison Bader? Bader? No, I'm not thinking Bader. about that. Oh, no, you don't think about Bader? Um, the, the Yankees right now are missing three, like, three, three legit starters for them right now. That's on the right side, right? The Yankees are going through their toughest schedule right now. I guess that's the bright side. <laughs> I don't know. Side. They came in like fumbling and mumbling. Right, right, right. Out right. of 500 of July. Yes, 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 yes. Even <laughs> though the Yankees are going through all this stuff, on the bright side, the Blue Jays are not even pushing them because they continue to lose. Yeah. And the Astros are still, like, the, even though the Astros have caught up in games, there's, the Yankees still have the best record in the AL so far as of the recording of this podcast. They're probably tight that the game got rained out today uh, and they lost one nothing. <laughs> <laughs> got him. Uh, a bright side could be. Go ahead. The Yankees are just fooling us, just playing around, trying to work themselves back to the underdog. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, I don't believe, that's, I don't not believe a, that's, that's not. That's definitely no, nah, no. Nah, uh, a bright side. Uh, well, I you know getting uh, Monta, uh, Montas start out the way. You know what I mean. He came back. Um, obviously, he was he had an injury as well. Um, Eleven games uh, since his last start. And uh, obviously it was ugly, but yeah, he he owned up to it. Um, there would you know, obviously, and I want to see what what he got because there's a lot of people that were just dogging him, calling mm -hmm. him Sonny Gray. Oh, like he, he's just trash or whatever. I'm like, yo, bro, like this is just, this is his first <laughs> freaking start. Like yeah. that 97 mile per hour fastball looked beautiful. That splitter looked beautiful. Uh, let him work with Matt Blake and see what's up. Yeah. Um, another bright side for me. The, the bottom of the order has been an issue for the mm -hmm. offense. Yes. And, and um, you know, you I, I think I, f I forgot the but I forgot the, the, the numbers, but Benintendi, I think he had two hits. Benintendi coming um, coming around. Benintendi had a double. He had I, a double, man. I thought uh, I thought he needed a roadie. Uh, what the I've, fuck is that? Absolutely. Uh Hicks, I mean Joe Joe is not <laughs> Joe doesn't care about Hicks. I don't care. As long as you get on base, B. Like, figure out how to get on base, Hicks, and I'm cool with you, B. Cause, but he had three hits. Glaver also. Um, so, you, Judge can't do it all. <laughs> I feel like Judge is on, on his own right now. You know what I mean? So, uh, we need the bottom of the order to do what they got to do, too. Uh, well, you know, obviously with uh, Trevino as well. Um, the, the, that's my. That's what I look. That's my outlook. That's the pot. Like, the positive that I see. Uh, shout out to Joey uh, Joey Stats for uh, you know uh, letting me you know, putting it in the chat, but uh, I I like that because if, if it was just the Yankees got swept and then nothing came out of it, that that's it's already frustrating. It's already an issue that they got swept, but you could you know you could take a look at some of the positive things that they could they, they could build from and take it out west to Seattle and see what's up. But um, Yes. That's the that's the last up right there. Anything else you want you want to add to that, Joe, before we move on? Um mm, No. On the bright side. Hmm. <laughs> <Just stop. laughs> Don't yeah. We'll move on. We'll, we'll figure who, it out. Well, later. who Oh jeez. Well, on the bright side, the Yankees, the Yankees are. I mean, listen. What's what, what's the good old saying that they that they do? Right? They say um, in a in a regular season, you'll have sixty games that you'll lose, sixty games that you'll 
win. And it's what you do in those other 60 games in between that determines how much, you know, of a really good team you are. You're never as good as you are when you're going good. You're never as bad as you are when you're going bad. To be honest, the Yankees have been better, <sighs> have been going, have been playing better, um, um, longer than what they were playing, than what they have been playing bad. Now they're catching up to the number now, pretty soon. So if we yeah. look at it, we'll you know, and depending on your starting point, Yankees have been five hundred since that day, whenever that is. Because oh, the last twenty one games, Yankees have been five hundred. Last forty one games, Yankees have been five hundred. Yankees, and you know what? Well, the last thirty games have been twelve and eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I, yeah, the last thirty games has been bad. Me. It's been, it's been I just say that. I will say that. Uh, that's crazy. That's wild. It man. is. Um. Well, uh, guys, he's just got to figure it out and uh, figure it out. All right, the yeah, no, yeah. people in the people in the chat are trying to like are are also saying that as well. Um, yeah, yeah, figure it out, Yankees. Yeah. Now it's time for three down. Three down. What goes up, must boy? If you don't. So uh, one homer in the whole series that shocked Joe. Joe, <laughs> it shocked them. Excuse me, one homer? Yeah. Yankees only had one homer, and it literally came in the ninth inning in today's game <laughs> on DJ. That's kind of wild. Who hit his 15th homer uh, of the season. That's wild to me. Uh, second down. Uh, I think Joe's going to like this one. Regular season mentality or August mentality. It feels like the Yankees, we lauded them for what the mentality that Boone had in April which is, hey, I'm trying to go get every game. And I'm not saying that he's not <clears throat> because, I mean, he put Clay Holmes in a situation to get him a game, and he did not. <laughs> the guys just didn't do the job. But And it's up to the guys, too. But it, I don't know, Chris. Mm. The acquisition of Harrison Bader, where, okay. I'm, I'm still trying to figure that out. No, I, I know what it means. Okay. The acquisition of Harrison Bader and giving up on Monty, which is fine. Okay, whatever. <clears throat> the, the you know, you know, now you got Giancarlo, and of course you want to make sure you get that out of there, but then, you know, it's three weeks, and you're pushing that out. You probably, maybe they'll say, you know what, September. I just feel like they made, what's the stopping from doing that? Rizzo's quotes about his back injury, eh, I won't play tomorrow, you know. You know probably if it's a playoff, I'll play. Um... <laughs> It's so bad. The, like, I don't know. It just feels like we're, we're almost, it's starting to almost feel where it's like, hey, let's rest on our laurels a little bit, which mm -hmm. I hate that because it's mm -hmm. not 162 one-game seasons. And, of course, you can't play 162 games as a one-game season every day because you will destroy your team. But it just seems like, bruh, hmm. it feels like you guys are looking ahead or putting the cart before right. the horse a little bit. Right. Yes, the Yankees have a double-digit lead on the Blue Jays. Yes, the Yankees still currently have the best, uh, the best uh, record in the American League. Um but I, I mean, I, I don't think that shit means shit, bro. Because I, I think that the same way that you set up the mentality of in your character of you winning, you can't just think that just because you did it back in April, May, June, and you you know you turned it kind of turn in for you're off right now. You can't think that you can't you could just. Turn it on in September and just steamroll through October. I hope that the Yankees are not thinking that because it kind of feels like they are. And that's going to piss me the hell off because the Yankees in recent years have disrespected the regular season. I'm not saying they are yet. We're going to watch this. I'm just saying put a little thumbtack on that and just mm -hmm. watch that. You know, 
when the Yankees start doing certain things, like, hey, we're just going to relax. Walking on action. <laughs> just, I don't know. I want, I want them to make noise. I don't want them to. By be the way, the correction, the uh, Yankees have a, a nine, a, nine and a half game. Nine, nine and a half. But it's, 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 it's 11 games in the loss column where it matters. Right? Blue Jays? No, I'm sorry. Not, it's, no, you're right. It's nine games in the loss column, yeah, actually. It's nine, it's nine games. According to math. Column. Yeah, nine games in the loss column, nine and a half. So it's single digits for the first time in yes. how long? You know, so you want to talk yeah. about, well, this is the first time the Yankees uh, got swept or, or, or uh, no, this is the first time the Yankees have, uh, are in a five game losing streak. Yeah, and this is the first time the Yankees have a, a single digit lead in the division. Right. Uh, so let's look at the, let's look at, you know, if you want to look at the numbers and talk about what they did before, what's happening now is not cool. I don't like this. I don't like this attitude. You look at your lead decreasing by the day because you're in a losing streak and you want to talk about, these games are not important. I bet. Bet. Uh, the last down. Yeah. Yankees got swept, B. The Yankees got swept uh, by the St. Louis Cardinals. They had a lead in the eighth of the first game, which we'll get into. Um, and the Cardinals came back, and they just didn't do anything after that. And uh, they, they tried. You know, they went uh, back and forth with the Cardinals today, and the Cardinals did what they had to do put the nail in the coffin and they walked away with a sweep and yep that is not good and now you're gonna face seattle but <clears throat> that was three up three down joe you have you want to add anything to that or you good no i'm good bro that was three up three down i hate, down, I hate getting four. swept <laughs> uh i like doing the sweeping i don't want to get swept uh what is your three up three down now we do have some uh, quick, fast news. Let's get into that real quick before we get into the games. Um, number one, Ron Marinatio was sent down. Obviously, the responding move was uh, Frankie Montas. I knew this Montas. was going to happen. This is so annoying. I, I, it's, it's annoying. He doesn't it's deserve a, that. He's so good. He doesn't deserve it. Uh, Clark Schmidt also needs to be up, man. I don't know what's up with that. Yankees claim Luke Ball. Should we, should, by the way, should we call him Juan? Juan Marinatio? Nah, I don't know. Run, run, Marinatio. Ronnie. Ronnie Nike. Uh, Yankees claim Luke Bard and uh, Anthony Rizzo, obviously. Uh, he didn't play at all. He was in the original lineup in the first game, and then he, uh, 15 minutes before the game, he was uh, uh, removed uh, for you know lower back issues. But uh, he did report some improvement, or Boone reported some improvement. But he's not expecting to have him available. Obviously, they didn't play the series, but hopefully in the Seattle series, he does get in some at-bats. Let's get into this game, man. Well, uh, game. also, uh, yeah. uh, Peraza was hit in the hand. The review yes. came back. No broken bones. No broken bones, yes. And so it's good. We'll see what happens I was looking, there. I was looking okay, for so. that, too. And also, Jason Dominguez was, uh, was taking out the game. I, I didn't see any updates, but it most likely was the heat. Hopefully it was just the heat. Yeah. But uh yeah. So Yeah. Um I mean, where do we start here? I mean, man, he's kinda lost every game, so <laughs> uh, uh I mean let's let's just get let, let, you know, let's, can I walk you through my, my, my day on this day? Yes, I do. All right, guys, this is what yes, happened. By please, the way, this these awesome jerseys and the, the you guys will be, you know, I, I love this Pinstripe Strong jersey. And if you guys are not seeing it, trying to go on YouTube, or I put pictures up on it on social media as well. There's this one, the Pinstripe Strong one, um, as well as there's another one, a gray one as yeah. well, that's fire as well. So um, we were doing the, the warehouse games, right? And I'm tired, bro. Like, Friday... You'd be surprised how tired you get playing blitz ball. It's weird. It's crazy. Um, you know, the heat and all of that stuff. Anyway, so, you know, I'm in there. I get I get back to the hotel room. I shower. People are like, hey, Joe, do you, do you guys want to go out tonight? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, bro, 
I ain't going nowhere, bro. I'm chilling in my in, in, in the room. I don't want to go anywhere. I want to just like chill and just watch the Yankees and lay down. I seen one inning. Okay, this is this is what I seen. I seen Josh Donaldson double in a run and make it one to zip. Mm-hmm. I seen Yadier Molina single in a run to make it one one. I would mm-hmm. then go to sleep and fall into a different universe. I wake up at like one in the morning. I'm like, oh shit, what the? Like you know how you sometimes you go to sleep, you didn't notice you you went to sleep, and then when you wake up, you wake up all disoriented. Like whoa, what the hell? Like oh, I woke up. I'm like. Oh shit! Let me check. Oh my god, what's going? on? Let me check the Yankees. <laughs> my phone's dead. Mm. All right, God. Let me go ahead and charge the phone. I charge it. I'm there looking. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm like, ah, oh, they probably won. They had a. I'm looking at it when my, you know, when your phone turns on, you start getting notifications. Right. The notification I got first was mm. Donaldson singles two to one Yankees lead. Glaber three to one. I'm like, oh shit. All right, okay. Okay, we fucking won. Let's go. And then I seen three to two. I'm like, this thing is happening like kind of quick. And then before you know it, it just kind of go. It, it, it says three to two, and then mad notifications came. So I didn't see anything. Now I know why there was mad notifications. They put Clay Holmes in the game. In in the eighth inning. In the eighth inning, which is I, I'm, fine. I'm okay with that. That's I'm okay fine. with that. No, why would you come down here drink my water? I don't ever want to They be They put... Go ahead. You could drink the water. Just fill it up again. Did, did, did. Sorry, Noah's here, and he like just straight that cup hijacked is fire, my though. water, bro. That cup is fire, though. It is. Um, I like my cup, though. I think I hate the name Paul DeJong now. Bro, you know, it's funny because in the, in the broadcast, you heard... Uh, you know, he was sent down to the minors, you know, uh, <laughs> like he was that trash that the, a guy who's been in the major leagues for like five, six, uh, five, six years, he was sent down to the minors and then he comes back and becomes a hero <laughs> versus the Yankees. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I hate it. And it's funny. Obviously there's no cameras at my house except when I turn it on, uh, my web, my webcam, obviously, but. He came up and they were talking about that shit. Yeah, you know, he was sent out to the minors, blah, 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 blah. And then Holmes, obviously, he was all over the place. And I'm like, yo, watch this. Because, because baseball, and because baseball, you know, <laughs> is dramatic, watch this motherfucker hits like, hit like a home run. And it wasn't, well, it was it a home run or a double? I think it was a double. Uh, And gave him the lead. A guy who was in the minors not so long ago. But um, it is what it is. People keep calling, people are calling Boone an idiot for taking out Cortez with 83 pitches and he had, he was cruising at five and a th- uh, five and a third and whatnot. He only gave up one run and people were like, why would you take him out? Why would you take him out? Why would you take him out? But you need to understand something. Once again, I will say this. The Yankees have to do this now if you want to be able to use Nestor Cortez come postseason. 2018, I'm going to say this again. 2018 with Baltimore, he pitched 4.2 innings the whole year in the majors. For the Yankees in 2019, 66 and two-third innings. 2020, 7 and two-thirds. 2021, 93 this year so far, 112. You're like, oh, maybe he was a career minor leaguer. Maybe that's what I, you know what? Bet. Let's go to the minor leagues then where apparently he had the most innings, right? Boom. His highest years that he ever had was 115 total innings. And that was between, that was in 2018, right? That was 100, that was between two minor league teams. And so that's 100 and what, what, 115, 2018. And he had 4.2 that year in the majors. So he's already at 112, guys. But I thought, but I thought that's, we come on here all, you know, for the past few pods talking about how, even before the, when, before they traded Monty, that we were talking about that. We knew that. Eventually they're going to have to uh, control Nestor's innings and Sevy's innings. Which I, I think that's the main reason why they pushed him out to September, put him on the sixty day IL uh to do that. 
so yeah he was he was cruising but you got to control his innings you don't want to you know have him pitch into the seventh to the eighth and then all of a sudden you're having issues in october um and honestly that, that was the main reason why i didn't want I, like i didn't understand the money trade because you also traded uh ken Waldachuk, you also traded sears you know what i mean and then you don't want to bring up schmidt so it's like you do want to bring up schmidt they do want to bring up schmidt well, they, they, how long they have to wait now? Like what, eight eight days? Something like that. But you, something like that. They didn't. Monty is not saving Nestor innings. That's why Monty's not here. Herman can save Monty innings. Well, the the trade. I mean, I mean, like the trade, because you know you would think that they were going to bring somebody back, and you're depleting your depth. And then also you traded Monty, right? But so, but but again, that doesn't Monty does nothing for Nestor. It doesn't. That doesn't no, I'm matter. Talking, I'm talking about I'm talking about the comeback. Like if you were because the move was that they were gonna get a pitcher coming back. It's not about Monty not being here. It's more like uh, you traded Monty, so what's coming back? They had to mm-hmm. get rid of. They had to get. They had to do it to get rid of a roster spot. Yeah, the, the Yankees would have probably the Yankees would have any options, right? If the Yankees would have gotten Pablo Lopez, then they would have still traded Monty, and they would have DFA'd Herman. That's what would have happened. Or you come, you bring in Herman after like four innings of Nestor, right? But okay, but what I'm saying, Chris, is like what you're not understanding is how much, how many roster spots they have available, right? They have to des- they would have to designate somebody off of that roster. The Yankee the Yankee roster right now doesn't have the only one with options right now is Wandy. Yeah. Like and you're not I mean you could send down Wandy if you want, but that doesn't make sense. You know, like maybe Efros has it, but why are you sending why would you acquire Efros yeah, to send well, him down? Exactly. You exactly, know, yeah. Herman doesn't have any options. Licky doesn't. Loisaga, are you gonna send down Loisaga? That doesn't make sense. Um, you know, you got know what I'm saying? Like, there's not real flexibility there. So, right. Monty wasn't going to say, so we need to throw that out the window. Monty wasn't going to save Nestor Innings. What was going to save Nestor Innings is the pitcher that you're going to put into the bullpen to piggyback with him. Whether that's going to be Severino, whether that's going to be Herman later, whether that's going to be Clark Schmidt. It's going to be somebody like that. So they ended up saying, I'm giving up on Monty so that I could get a center fielder that will probably actually gun out Yadier Molina when he's trying to tag up. <laughs> what was Hex thinking, man? <laughs> what the hell was that? Yeah, he bought, he, 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 it was the, that 1-0 loss was also because the ball just came off the glove or something like that. He has some issues. Hicks in left field, but um, we'll get into it. It's twice yeah. in the series. All right? It's twice in the series. Right? Anyway, Clay um, Holmes doesn't do the job, bro. They bring him in, and he sells, and the Yankees lose 4-3. to three. Uh, Paul DeYoung just hits one to right field, and it's 4-3, to three, and the Yankees just don't come back. So... You know, I think I think they had the bases loaded. Yeah. So, yeah. I think I think they had the bases loaded in the. I'll take a look real quick. Um. Yeah, the Yankees, uh, the Cardinals come back on the Yankees. They lose. Uh, what was it? Four to three. Was it? Mm-hmm. Let me see. Yeah. Well, yeah. Four to three. Yankees lose. And. Yeah. This. This freaking sucks. Abreu. Let me see here. So Abreu came in, uh, pitched a third of an inning, uh, two hits and a K. Uh, e Frost came in, he did his thing. Um, and then obviously Holmes got smacked. Are you worried about Holmes? Yes. And what I'm really worried about with Holmes is overuse. Uh, once again, this is what happens in a season, right? And then this is why we need Chapman. We need a lot of people to step up. Guys, Holmes is pitching right now. He's on track for a career high in usage. He's at 
46 games, 46 and two third innings in 46 games right now on this year. Okay. His career high is at 69 games. He is looking to like really get like he that's if the Yankees continue to use home and you have to right because he's the closer in whatever it is. But if the Yankees don't start like finding ways to either rest homes or to start blowing teams out mm-hmm. um, or whatever it is, then to be honest, he's going to start getting to Tom Gordon levels that we don't want. <laughs> Paul Quantro uh, levels. Scott Proctor. Scott Proctor. You see those names? Those sound like <laughs> Joe Torre destroyed the bullpen arm names. Felix Heredia. <clears throat> so, uh, uh, and, and yeah. no, the, the Yankees did not have the bases loaded. My bad. Um, yeah. But yeah, um, it you was got- mad weird too because they, the last out came on a check swing <laughs> on Matt Carpenter, and it was like yeah. a close call on the, at first. Uh, and he, Matt Carpenter, was also the last out in today's game, which is weird. But uh, Yankees lose four to three. They need to, you know, and, and this, this is a theme of the podcast, guys. Figure it out. They got to figure these things out because everybody else is trying to figure it out too. Um, the Yankees, uh, they were, they left, they left, uh, nine as a team, they left, uh, nine on base, nine left on base. And they were three for 11 with run and scoring position. That's game one. That's game one. Yeah. So, I mean, they had chances, but they had a lead. They had chances to expand, but th- this is what you do against good teams. You got to try to like expand and the Cardinals are, are a good team. So yeah. expand the lead. So you have more cushion. And, you know, try to do that. Dato Donaldson had a good game. You know, that's good. He had two hits, the double, the two RBIs. I mm-hmm. hope he eats up, bro, because I feel like it's like one, two or steps forward, one step back, like whatever it is. I want mm-hmm. – can I get half the offense that's like kind of like his defense? Like, that'll be great. Please. Yeah. Something. I mean, keep um, the defense because you, you, you yeah. had a, he had a very nice play. He had a yeah. laser throw. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, Benintendi had one hit. Judge, uh, I can't have one hit. Benintendi yeah. puts together like a like an OK series, a good series. Yeah, yeah, no? you know what I mean? Yeah. Good series. Yeah. Just keep, keep, keep building. Keep going. Keep, keep building, building my guy. Game yeah. two, the Yankees had two hits and lost one zip. Game three. Yes. Anything else happened from that game? Seriously, like <laughs> I seen the game. Uh, well, the, the, well, that's the, the one that I was at the bar. They, for. Well, they faced Monty. <laughs> they got shut Monty, down. By Monty. Her mom pitched well. Her mom pitched well. See, this is the thing. Her mom, you know, he's been, you know, and he's been facing some crazy, like crazy teams. He hasn't been facing bumps. Yeah. And you know, what I mean, he's bringing that ERA down. So that's cool. Let's see where he takes it. The Yankees had two hits, uh, uh, and the the one big hit that I that, that where Arenado got the RBI to seal the game, basically. Uh, that was the ball that went off of Hicks, Hicks' glove. He, he, like, if he would have, you know what I mean, had control of it, he probably had to play at mm-hmm. home. Uh, but that didn't work out. Yankees lose one zip. Jordan that Hicks sucks. is nasty. Jordan, that Hicks. Can we trade, Jor- can we trade Aaron Hicks or Jordan <laughs> Hicks? <laughs> Wasn't he a starter? I think Jordan Hicks was a starter or something. Bro, like that. he throws gas. One oh two, and no, no. he's like located. One oh one, mother. And he's good, <laughs> like good. Um, Monty Wait, gets money, a... had, money had a cramp. That's why he left. That's why he didn't pitch beyond the fifth. I guess I don't know. He had eighty three pitches. Okay. Um. Wow. Bueno. All right. LaCastro gun somebody out. Is the relay um, Chapman no, no. with another guys on no, and he came in late in this game. It's starting to happen, Chris. He's starting to build the confidence. He would come in in the eighth inning. He did come in and he put up a zero and he had a strikeout. No, I'm sorry, a walk. Uh, he did, but still. Another positive outing for Chapman. We yes. need him. Yes. Specifically because of what is happening with Holmes. I'm not saying that Holmes should lose his job. I'm not saying that. But somebody to kind of help him, help him, like, from the usage and with the way that the Yankees sound like they want to use him, 
Oh, let's bring him in in the A. It's like, bro, like, <laughs> you guys know his inning stuff. <laughs> so you guys are using him a lot. Like, relax. Yeah. Um, Marinaccio pitched well, <laughs> well enough to get DFA uh, or sent down. Sorry. Yeah, Tre- well enough. Tre- Trevino pitched well in this game. And, um, uh, Chapman had a pick off. Yankees didn't really have much base runners, really. They had like no over two runners in scoring position. You lose one zip, bro. It's kind of like what happened, bro. But nobody. Yeah, my Monty. They didn't even work. They didn't even really work walks. They had three walks the whole game. Bro, Monty held them down, big. Stop. They felt bad. No. They were like Monty, Monty. <laughs> Man, Hicks came in early. Even like, bro, Cardinals hit us with the former Yankee. Like they had Gallegos to say to put come in and save the game, and you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. The, this is. I think this is, was this the game. Let me see. No, yeah, it was just one. Two, not three, a lot happened up. in this game. It really did it. Uh, no, like not three, much we're... offense. It's, I mean, I thought that the the ball that Judge hit in the ninth was a home run. I thought yeah. it was going to be a home, but it didn't. He just kind of, he got under it. He he had, like, two pitches to hit, like, really crush, and he didn't. Um, whatever. He got that one, and it was out, and then, you know, Donaldson. <laughs> See, look what I mean. Two, one step forward, two yeah, steps Donaldson back. It's at, like, like three, five, three pitches down the middle, and then he wants to be there, like, an extra five seconds to complain. Bro, go sit down, man. Chris, can I take... Can I take the pinch right strong hat off real quick? I bet. Real quick. But I love Nolan Arenado. <laughs> okay? Like I... <laughs> Arenado. Yo, he is the f- yo, he is the man, bro. He's the GOAT at third to me. Like basically. That's the man. He's yo. The win ten gold gloves, B. Glove ten. side. You know, I mean in, you know, the third base hole. Getting base hits, a homer when you need it. Nolan Arenado is the shit. Now let's go back. Fuck Arenado. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, fuck that. The Yankees had a chance to get him. Boy, if you don't. Yeah. Well, they, um, they got Arenado and Gold. Yeah, dude. Arenado and Goldschmidt. Goldschmidt is. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, Arenado's and like. Goldie didn't even hit us crazy in this series, B. I don't. I don't. Like he he had our like sack flyer. Like he, I mean, I think he probably had a couple of hits or whatever. I didn't look at his numbers, but yeah, I, I didn't see Goldie like smacking the shit out the ball anywhere. But uh, he's still the go uh, to me, uh, MVP this year for the NL. Um, but this is not Cardinal strong. Uh, game three. Game three. Uh, three. This, today's game. Three. Yankees. This, is... this was the clusterfuck. This was the annoying the knocker. Uh, the annoying shit. I'm not blaming the offense today, regardless of how many runners they left on base. And you know why. Yes, Chris. You got to win. My rule is, if you score more than six runs, you sh- it's on the pitching. And you lose, it's on the pitching. It's on the pitching. On because... The pitching. Fuck, bro. The Yankees put up nine. They had a robust amount of base runners. Okay? Yes. Yes. They had 16 hits, four walks, and brought in nine of those. I mean, guys. I mean, yeah. I get it. Oh, six for 18 runners in scoring position, 12 men left on base. If you want to harp on that, you're 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 channeling your anger in the wrong direction. Mm-hmm. That's like you're swimming against the current. My man said, why am I not moving? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Like, it's like, turn around, dummy, and maybe yeah. it's like, yeah. Dude, but the waves are crazy. That's how he talks. <laughs> Boy, if you don't. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, this. All right. Montas <laughs> comes out. Should we give? We're gonna give Montas a mulligan, okay? I'm not, I'm not even. I'm gonna give him a mulligan because I a, love his fastball. Yes, his splitter was his nice. Splitter, splitter was nasty. nice. But he didn't pitch in eleven days. He already had a pitch count. 
He's coming back from that shoulder thing. Just so you know, so you want to make sure you get him ready. Right. Um, but, you know, and he was dealing, in all honesty, the last thing he was thinking about in those 11 days was probably baseball. Yeah. I mean, he had a family member pass away. Um, and then you get traded at the same time while all this is happening. A lot of things are changing for you and your family, right? And the Yankees, you know, of course, they had the bereavement time and whatnot. And, but still, anybody that's lost a loved one, you know, you're not, you're kind of, you're out of sorts for a while, you for know. While. So it's like absolutely, absolutely. And you match that along with getting traded to another team. And you match that to, hey, you know what? I got to pick up and move my life to, you know, with my family to now a new city that I probably don't really know much of. And I got to move my stuff and my, my, you know, my living stuff and whatever. It's a lot going on. So we're going to give him a, a, a mulligan for this one. Like he said, this is my first start, not my last start. Mm -hmm. The fact that he says that there's like a handle New York meter, right? Right. It went up a smidge. Just for that answer. He's like, hey, you know what? Hey, Monta. Hey, Monta. I got you. I got that, you that's like, that's like, uh, you know, Jeter. Hey, G, uh, what's going on? You're 0 for 25. You're kind of struggling. He's like, yeah, man, I, I think I might go out there and maybe take a swing left-handed. <laughs> nah, but seriously, um, I'm kind of like, you know, like right now I'm battling, but, you know. I'll put that behind me and I'll just looking for the next hit. Like, I mean, like, that's kind of like. Yeah. I so like that. It's fine. I, really, I had to clip that. I had to clip that because I, yeah. I, I was not expecting that. Um, Jared, so I'm was, sorry for your loss about your dog. Dogs are man's best friend. And Jared, it was the mod in the chat. Lost oh, his dog, man, so Jared, I'm so that. sorry, man. Very sorry about that. Um, Damn. Love dogs. So love dogs. sorry, Jared. Yeah. Um, um, but yeah, so I mean, so like I said, even w when you lose somebody that's close to you, a lot of stuff is happening. We're going to give him, he gave up six fucking runs though. But I mean, still, uh, I thought maybe Boone should have gotten him a little earlier maybe, but yeah. at the same time, yeah. he's like, it's 75 pitches. Maybe Boone was thinking at least get me through four. Pops. Like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like he, four, he man, probably, please. he probably thought that. Um, but he, he didn't, he was, you know, the Yankees got him a, you know, they got him a one Oh lead. Then he gave it back. It was one, one. It's like, all right, it could have been worse, but it wasn't. Then they added, it was four to one. It's like, all right, then it was six, you know, six to four. It's like, okay, what the fuck happened? Bro, that, that inning just went insane. That and then it. his last inning was a good inning. Um, I guess yeah. because he put up a zero, but his final line, three innings, five hits, six runs, all of them earned, three Dylan, walks, two strikeouts. Dylan Carson had that double. That was the player that apparently St. Louis didn't want to trade for Juan Soto. Um, Dylan Carson doubles, 24 doubles. God damn. Um, Beast. And so, yeah. Uh, and and the, the bottom of the second, he walked Paul DeJong and Yadier Molina. Yeah. That I mean, that's and I mean, you you strike out Tommy Edmond, so you think I bet maybe a double play here, whatever. But then obviously, Dylan Carson um, doubles, and then it got to Arenado, and he just went ham on that. Uh, oh so, yeah, he did. Uh, I I think may, right there, uh, maybe not maybe not to face Arenado, uh, but like you said, Boom wanted to get wanted to get get him out. I of mean, Arenado um, hit a freaking bomb off him. Like, it was, was, yeah. That was just. I was like, insane. "Damn, bro, shit!" But but even four six in the second, you yeah. don't, you know, looking at this Yankees team, you don't think, "Hey, we're you know we're done for." No, you still feel like you could come back. Um, yeah, you know, and the Yankees did. They tied the game. They but. did. They did. They tied the game. Um, they tied the game at six with um when Judge hit a double. Judge had a good day. I mean, there's a lot of people that had a good day. Uh, DJ had a good day at the top of the lineup. He had three hits, and the RBI had the homer as well, uh, and a double. Um, and nice to see DJ LeMahieu, you know, playing Blaver. well again. Judge with four RBI and uh, two clutches. 97 RBIs. 97 RBI. Um, Carpenter, 
uh, had, had a sack fly, um, and um, yeah, Donaldson had a hit. Had a hit I guess. Yeah, Do- Donaldson Blayton. had three hits. <laughs> I mean, Do- um, one uh, Hicks one had three hit. hits. Uh, Hicks, we're gone. Glaver had three hits. I was laughing with the guy that said uh, uh, Hicks after he gets his 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 first hit, and it was like the the video or the picture of um, <laughs> Patrick Beverly oh, and Patrick shit, like Beverly. crying and shit. Like, <laughs> That was to, hilarious. I had, to retweet, I had to retweet that. That was hilarious. He's like, after getting one hit, after going yeah. 0 for 32. <laughs> yeah, Gla- uh, Glaber with three hits is nice. Uh, ben Intendi with two hits is also nice. He had, a, you know, like we said, a good OK series. Keep building on that. Hicks with the three hits. Hopefully he wakes up. And then Trevino had two. Um, big, you know, he had a big RBI as well. Marwin did really. He had an RBI ground out, but other than that, he hasn't really done much um LeMay, you had chance a lot of chances to like break the game a bit and he didn't um kind of hard to get mad at a guy that had three hits in a game when three for six <laughs> with an rvi but um but yeah it's about yeah, when uh, you get your hit right um because he had the home run uh in the yeah. ninth but um the, the st bo- louis offense uh, was was just too much uh for for Pet- Efros. i mean peralta bass. Uh, Trevino, he, you know, he pitched a third. Uh, Peralta came in, gave us two. Um, but Efrost, man, like that. Yeah, Efrost was pretty. Is it Efrost or Efrost? Efrost. Efrost? I, I kept calling Efrost. Uh, Efrost. Efrost. Um, yeah, he, I mean, and I, <laughs> it was, uh, what, it was uh, 9-8? It was 9-8. And baseball is so funny sometimes, babe. Because, you know, he gave up the three run bomb. To guess and... who? Huh? To guess who? Paul DeJong, <laughs> right? The the MVP of the series, right? Uh, and then literally, DJ hits the home run that would have tied the game if uh, Efros pitched a clean uh, eighth. Uh, so I seen that's... that. I kind of felt that inning coming a mile away. Like in that eighth inning. He, I was like, okay, let's see. He got, he got, got two outs too. He got Goldschmidt to ground out. I'm like, okay, we got one. And then Arenado doubled, and I'm like, duh, of course. And then, you know, he, you know, Tyler O'Neill singles, and I'm like, oh shit, they got runners. I got runners on the corners now. Um, I, I liked it because let's Arenado get a double play. Was, Arenado was not going to test Judge's arm. No, they stopped that. They put that. They said, yeah, they no, don't worry that. about it. Right. Uh, Newt Bar or Lars Newt Bar, well, what uh, name is funny? Um, he yeah, lined out to Newt, Hicks. They love Newt Bar in uh, in St. Louis. Yeah, he lined out. And then Paul D. Jong goes Big Mac sign and just hits a bomb. By the way, that is the fourth of his season. <laughs> <laughs> he was in the minors not so long ago, bro. They and the thing is, I think he was like a top prospect. At one point for St. Louis, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but he was like a big player uh, for St. Louis, and which that's why like it was a big, it was big news as to why they sent him back down. But yeah, that was the yeah. nail, that was the nail in the coffin right yeah. there. DJ tried to come back and it just didn't work out. Wait, that's DJ's 12th home run. I thought it was 15. Oh, wrong. I got to change that. Yeah, Yankees went from down one to down four, and then guess what? Maybe that one run that they got, DJ ends up saying, Homer! Yankees lose 12-9. Swap! (laughs) Swap it. Yeah. Swap it. Swap it. Swap it. Well done, man. Um, seventy and thirty-nine. They uh, match with the Mets. By the way, Boone was thrown out of this game, and so was uh, Matt Blake and Matt Blake. Uh, uh, was... Everybody was mad at the umpire. Umpire was horrible on both sides. I mean, Wainwright was like, "What the fuck are you doing, bro?" He they had Wainwright for a hundred and fifteen or hundred and eleven pitches. Yeah, the and guys at the guy look. <laughs> The guy's at the end of his rope, bro. Chris. I know. He's just 40 trying years like, old with 100 plus pitches in the fifth, and the Yankees lose. Yeah. The, that's just, you know, the, the bullpen. 
Yeah. Bullpen. Uh, Yankees got swept. But you know, as Twitter say, the Yankees have a nine and a half game lead. So what can go wrong for them? Yeah. Yeah. Nothing can possibly go <laughs> wrong, right? <laughs> oh my! What this, are the my. chances? Jake Storiali so, greater than Nolan Arenado? Hmm. I haven't seen Jake. Does that mean through. that Nolan Arenado sucks? That doesn't even sound right. All right, let's get into some awards. All right, it's time for your image drive strong. Award. <laughs> It's time for awards. Who did well? Who did horrible? And who gets the answer today? What? Toma, 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 toma. <laughs> for the awards. The awards. I, um, because of uh, circumstances, uh, I did not have a pinstripe strong performer. I did not have a pitching performer or pick to click. So, um, no, you you mean you didn't have a pick to click? Oh, yeah, my bad. I didn't have a pick to click or a pitcher perform, pitching performer. Oh, the chat picked for you. Oh, the, who, who they picked for me? I don't remember. All right, Elizabeth, um, Elizabeth, who they picked for me? They probably picked Garrett Cole. Um, so, Garrett Cole didn't <laughs> <laughs> uh, so who you got? Who's well, we're away. We are away, so pinstripe strong performers meet. Who was your pinstripe strong? Joey Stats did send the number. Shout out to Joey Stats. Shout out to Joey Stizzies. The Stiz. Um, Stiz running trip. Ooh. Anyway, uh, the you're not even after pod. You're not even after pod. Not even after pod. I just not even after pod. I didn't even have to do that either, bro. That was pretty bad. There were Um, so many other things. What you got? All right. Uh, the pinch restaurant performer of the side. <laughs> so like the snake, snake from Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> um, what you got? Yo, say that shit one more time, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that shit, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Aaron Judge, man. I mean, God damn. Five. For 13, four rib eyes, a stolen base, two walks, trying to do it by himself. If Judge doesn't do anything on a particular night, the Yankees lose right now. That sucks. Bro, that I that's a lot of pressure, B. And but I mean that's that's the MVP. Even more of a mm. reason, but when you're getting swept, <laughs> it's not yeah, yeah. Then, then you start looking like Otani and shit. Yeah. All right, so let's <laughs> also that means he's winning the MVP. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Um, uh, that's who you got. Damn, who I got? <laughs> Damn, who I got, though, Super? <laughs> who I got, Super? Uh, let me give it a Frankie. No, no, um, <sighs> guys, don't forget to like the vid, the YouTube video in the chat, by the way. The, the vid. So, wait, Herman pitched, Cortez pitched. You're yeah, looking bro. to give it to a pitcher, bro. Have you seen the heading? I don't know. I'm looking at the stat line. There's a lot of good hitting performances. But if you want to give it to a pitcher, I understand. I mean, let me see. Let me let me. I'm on. Who played? Wait. Who you got? <laughs> Kyle Higashioka. Who you got? Nah, let me give it a glaver. Who you got? I'll give it a glaver. Who you got? I'll give it a glaver. All right. I'll give it a glaver. Labor Torres? Okay. Labor had four hits in the series with an RBI. Hey, Nami had a did. nice defensive play, too. RBI. Caught yeah, stealing. Cool. I mean, he's just doing it all. He got he caught stealing. Well. He got caught stealing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, he made it out on the base. He made it out on the base. Um, you know what I mean? He scored two runs. Yeah, he did score two runs. Hey, maybe Glaber turned the corner, yo. He did. He did. Maybe Glaber turns the corner. That's a lot yeah, of corners. Yeah, Yankee by nature did not like that labor choice. He's yeah. been terrible. He wasn't terrible here. He bought a 300 in the series. Yankee by nature hates Glaber. Um, sure. Yeah, he does. <laughs> hates I'm going to give it a Glaber. I'll, 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 you know, <laughs> it, 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 was, it was a weird series, man. It was a, We got sweat. <laughs> like, it's hard to pick hard. flowers out of shit. <laughs> 
Okay, so <laughs> let's. Yeah, Yankee by nature is so confused. <laughs> Yankee by nature doesn't like this at all. All right, he's out. All right, so now it's time for juke juke trash. You're trash, bro. Is them tears, bro? Come on, bro. You gotta get you together, boy. Esas son lágrimas, loco. Um, who we gonna? You know what? <laughs> Efros. I mean, I mean, bro. You can't be out here, bro. My man be on the tight. My man be on the tightrope, like he was in Yankee Stadium, almost gave up the home run, put the face. And my man is like walking tight ropes and shit, and he finally fell, bro. Gave up a bomb. Oh, Afros gave it up. Gave up a bomb, b. Somebody should have gotten it before Afros, though. But you, you was, you was gonna get it regardless. You were. You was gonna get it regardless, Afros. You, you, come on, brother. Yeah, it's not. It's come not, on, my guy. On, it's funny not, because man. look, I don't know, man. Baseball is is beautiful. Baseball. Because his first appearance, he almost gave up that bomb. That's when the meme came out that he made that face. He was like, <gasps> breathing and shit like that. Like, oh, man, thank God it was a fly out. And look, he was like, I bet. Look, boom. <laughs> homer. And not just any homer. Three-run bomb from a guy named Paul DeJong. The young mustard. Uh, you are trash, my guy. Who you got, Joe? All right. Defro defrost. No. <laughs> defrost. Frost needs to defrost. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> I have a question. I were we giving him a mulligan? I'm not sure. I kind of like. I'm looking at all the numbers, and I know we were giving Montas a mulligan. Wait, hold on. No, but I'm I'm not gonna give it to him. But right now, this is a little like slap on the hand. Like you was about to get two of them today from me and Chris. <laughs> I um. But we're not going to do it today. But you know what, Pop? You came back. I needed you to rake a little bit. You came back to St. Louis with your mustache. Wow. You're hugging people. Matt Carpenter, my he guy. Uh, what? He has two hits, Chris. Two hits. Two he hits, has mama. two hits. He had 167 hits. for the series. Like, I needed him to do more, Pop. Like, Bro, how Holmes is going to skate? How Clay Holmes is going to skate? He Chris. just came back home, my guy. He was emotional. <laughs> Chris, I'm going to be honest here with you. I want to give it a Holmes, then. Can I be honest with you? Be honest. Can I be real with you? Be real. Pop it, yo. Pop it. Because that night fell into an abyss of a sleep, I forgot Clay Holmes blew the fucking <laughs> only when we had an opportunity to get Clay Holmes, you fucking trash! Bro, you're trash, bro. Is them tears, bro? Trash. Come on, bro. We gotta get you together, boy. <laughs> Matt Carpenter, <laughs> you have been warned. <laughs> That's a warning, Carpenter. That's a warning. Thank Bro, you, later. Thank you. I will appreciate. I appreciate. A man can only admit when he is wrong. I had forgotten because I fell into a slumber of a sleep. I felt like I woke up in a different reality where the Yankees sucked. I'm still here. I need to go to sleep again and hopefully wake up back where the Yankees were good because my God. All right. I woke up. It's like Pittsburgh Pirate Clay Holmes. Like, it's like, arr, arr, and man, she's like, bro, we don't do that. <laughs> Had the beard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I know this is a corny joke, Chris, but I don't know why I laughed. <laughs> Somebody said this is a, a Pirates crossword puzzle. And it's just everybody, R on every line is R, R. So Why are you laughing at that shit? That is so corny. It's so stupid. Why am I laughing? That shit is corny. It's, it's a 15 down, R. I'm sorry. I apologize. That's so stupid. I apologize. <laughs> Bro. 
You are trash. All right. Anyway, move along. Um, the next thing that we're going to go ahead and do is, um, you know what? Unsung hero. There's always an unsung hero in every series. Somebody that goes a little bit under the radar. They stay so under the radar. They're actually, they almost weren't discovered. Mm. So who is the who, 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 who is the unsung hero of this series? What you got, Chris? Yeah. Uh, you know what's funny? I didn't even think about my unsung hero. I got one. And I don't think you'll pick this one. Because but I got one of... right now. All right. Who you got? No, go ahead. I want you to pick. Right, my unsung hero is Aaron Judge. <laughs> um, hmm. Nah, go first. Because I'm trying to figure it out. Okay. I'm going to pick Domingo Herman. Okay, I think I like when it begins, Jordan Montgomery. Basically, the Yankees made a choice. I'm going to either pick Herman. Or pick Monty. And they picked Herman. Honestly, that's what they did. They picked that and or, they... Or maybe that's who they wanted. St. Louis wanted. Probably. It doesn't matter. I'm just saying that's who they chose. To, they could have dealt Herman elsewhere. That's true. Um, that's true. As well. It doesn't have Very to be true. St. Louis, but whatever. So that's what happened there. They picked him. And he comes out and he actually pitches well against a good team and a good lineup. Ball was moving quite a bit. He pitched, you know, he pitched effectively, and he gave the Yankees a chance to win, which is what I want my starters to do. Three or less runs, you know, do mm -hmm. that. A good job. And for Herman, he, Herman came out, he gave us five innings, four hit ball, and four hit one run ball. So good job, Herman. You're the unsung hero of the series. My unsung hero. Because of his value mm. in the bullpen mm. and what it means when mm. he has control of his fastball oh. and what it means oh, yeah. in a situation where Clay Holmes right now is, you know what I mean? He's, he's a Nami right now. Yes. What does that mean? find out or not after no i'm kidding uh he's just shaky right now he's shaky um so to have a consistent chapman you know and this is a guy that if you guys follow the pod you follow pen strike strong you know that i uh wanted to trade him <laughs> possibly didn't want him on the team uh because he was close to being useless but now he's found something and whatever that hit that is between you know uh Matt Blake and him and him is working. You're my own song hero, our oldest Chapman. Oh shit, wrong sound. <laughs> shit, man. Damn it. Yeah, that shit is crazy. I'm so sorry. Um Damn, I killed it. Uh, I had a different sound <laughs> there. I just pressed the wrong button. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if Chapman listens to that music. Uh Joey, yeah. This is like I, fire. I yeah, he does. Uh, I was thinking Ben Attendee, but I need him to do more. I need him to do more. I need this is a great more. start. This is a great start. Him, Glaber, Higgs, to do more. great start. Donaldson had an okay series, too. Okay. He's okay. Um, so, let's see. Um, pick to click? Pick to click. It's the pick to click. We're going to go ahead and pick the pick to click. Who you got? Well, well, who, well, who you had? Who I had? Okay, well, and, that's a good and, question. And who I had was Matt Carpenter, which is why I, was, I kept looking at. <laughs> that's why I was go, a little upset. Oh, he was gonna go home. I'm coming home. Yeah, I I'm picked. That's not right. All right. Well, I I had picked uh, Carpenter, and my pitcher performer of this series, I said it was gonna be Montas. My God, that was wrong. Um... So, we went ahead and, um, I mean, what, a Carpenter, fit? I did horrible. I shouldn't even go first. Go ahead, Chris. So, wait, they, <clears throat> you guys picked Tyone and Judge for me? No. 
Because I don't think I don't think. Oh no, yeah, that's old. Updated. That's old because it said Colin Rizzo. So you, okay, that was old. Um. Okay, and who was your pitching performer? Oh, you said uh, Montas. Yeah. Oh yeah, you did horrible. Um. <laughs> so. <laughs> yes. Are we doing sweat? So I won by default. <laughs> yeah. You didn't, yeah. No, nah, no, nah, I didn't even play. I didn't even play. So are we doing swag champ, or you want to pick? Uh, pitching performer and pick to click for the next series before we do swag champ. Let's go ahead and pick picking uh, the the picking the um, picky pick the pick pick yeah. uh, no Pikachu. Uh, let, let's let's go ahead and just do swag champ real quick. No pick a Uh All right, so my swag champ is a man who did not play in the series. Go ahead, pick. Yeah, go ahead and pick Rizzo for taking the days off and also having that fire ass freaking jacket he had. <laughs> that shit is fire. That shit <laughs> because he spit hot fire. I he need had the that Jordans shit. too. B. He had the Jordans. I, I'm need like, that oh, shit. Uh, I bought that jacket with the quickness. Um, right. It away. was on sale. It was on sale, and now they don't have anything beyond large. <laughs> Fuck! I need to lose I'll put weight. The link in the tweet. That's my fucking fault. It was your but fault why it sold out. Before, before I even posted the link, I bought it. Absolutely, I had to. So if you guys didn't get Chris, it, it's not my fault. You're the reason why I don't have the jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I let you wear mine. Like I let you borrow mine and shit. Uh, bro, so who you got? Who's back champ? I I mean, I, La Castro, La Castro, La Castro. Um, guys, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I, I, I hardly, I hardly go. Mm. <laughs> I don't Give know. Give it to yourself, B. You got a fire jersey on with a fire fitting. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Give it to yourself. I'm going to give it to me, it. bro, because it's the new Pinstripe <laughs> Strong merch right here. Coming soon to a, uh, uh, to the shop, that John Boy Media store near you. Facts, man. This shit, yeah, this shit, this fire, shit fire. This shit, this shit flames, you heard? Flames. Nah, man. That shit is fire. All right. Uh, who, um, I, do I go first by default because, for pick to click? Yeah, you go first, bro. By default. All right. So... The Yankees go to Seattle. 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 So yeah. face the <laughs> the acquisition that they could not get again. So they face uh, Gilbert, who they smacked before, and Tyone. Uh, game two, which is a Tuesday. By, uh, by the way, is uh, 10 p.m. games, the first two games. Um, Cole versus Castillo part two. Shit is a rough schedule. And then we got see uh Wednesday at four. We got Cortez versus Robbie. Is it is that Robbie right? Um I'm not sure. I, I think, think that's Robbie I think Ray. that yeah, they do have Robbie Ray. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, Robbie Ray. So Cortez versus Robbie Ray. So those are the guys. We're getting their My best pick. pitchers. Yeah, absolutely. My cause Gilbert, he's he's good. We just we're about it that day. Um uh for my pick to click. I am going to go. Let me see. Who we? Who do I want to go with? I'm going to go. Mm, you know what? Ben Attendi. Oh, that's a good one. Ben, ben Nintendo. Who you got? Ben Nintendo. I think that um doesn't Judge hit like really well there. He hit probably his furthest home run. <laughs> judge, life. And was I, I hate, I hate having to pick Judge every freaking series, man. But we kind of need him, bro. Like you, you pick Carpenter that series, so you pick him. No, it's a pick him. Why you said it like <laughs> it's that? A, it's, a, it's a pick him. So you can pick him. Um. Yeah, I'm. Chances are, guys. They're going to rest Judge on Wednesday because they have a day off on Thursday. So they have double rest days. Um, <sighs> oh, rest days. It's happening, which is making me think at least he's going to play the two games. However, he's 0 for 4 against Gilbert. Um, that doesn't mean anything, but. That means he's probably he's probably due. Well, they should have been He has horrible numbers against Gilbert. That has nothing to do with me. 
I mean, you break them. <laughs> that's, um, that's the more with him. <laughs> that's true. Ben, Benintendi probably probably gonna get one day off. Benintendo. Ben go. ten. I like that. Ben ten. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give it to um, I guess Judge. Go with Judge. <laughs> Uh, for the pitching, I am. I don't trust Cole. <laughs> oh my god! I don't trust Cole, I'm but glad. you know who I trust. I'm glad you're gonna pick Tyone. So I we trust can... Cortez. Oh, Jesus. I trust. I trust Cortez. That's my ace. <laughs> they're gonna take him out at the three innings to save his innings, and you're gonna get frustrated. <laughs> Nah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Nestor Cortez. That's my guy. Um, let's go. Who you got? I can't pick Cole here because these same guys. Like now, it's weird, Chris, because he had that one inning, <laughs> and then after that, it was a scoreless outing. Maybe he found something against them. But it's his him starting. Like his first couple innings is always some crazy shit. Joey, yeah, four ninety five. But you know, I, yeah, I think I'm, that... I'm good, bro. I'm good on you, Cole. You gotta show me something first before I pick you. Yeah, in. you gotta show us. Something. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go with Tyone. Um, yeah, for sure. And you lucky Tyone. ain't go with Chapman. I'm gonna go ahead and go with Tyone here, <laughs> and uh... and Chapman tags himself in. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you got the knee braces and shit. So wrestling in the middle. Of the... <laughs> he tags. He, he like, you know how when when you're they always come tag, in with extra energy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Holmes is like trying to reach the corner and Chapman like, come on, take me in. Uh, and Where the, Ma- Ma- the Mariners got him in the figure four and shit. <laughs> and he like crawling. He's like, ah, he finally tags the hand. He comes in, starts stomping on him, and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> throws one guy off the ring. The other guy comes in. He punches him. Throw him out the ring. The 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 manager comes in, starts wailing around. He punches him in the face, throws him out the ring, and then he looks at the crowd and goes, "Yeah." We're talking about pitching, man. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they hitting him? <laughs> <laughs> that Chapman wins. Um, nah, Joey. Yeah, four ninety five in Baltimore, but I think I think they played with the numbers in Seattle. B. That shit went further. <laughs> that, that shit went far. B. Yeah, that's a bullshit. Um, yeah. So that was well. We got the pitching performer. We got pick to click, and that was awards. Yes, that was the award. Hey! Hey, my friends, you already know the award, the ceremony that we gave out right there. Everything is good for you and for me. I heard the snap. All right. Um, this is hilarious. That is it. Any um, well, uh, the Yan- as we went over, Yankees face Seattle. Um, I, is Julio Rodriguez back? I think Julio. I think, I think they said that when um, by the time the Yankees face Seattle again in Seattle, that he should be back. Um, anybody in the chat knows? Has he uh, did he play today? Let's see. I don't see him in the lineup. Okay. I don't see him in the lineup. So, did he play yesterday? Maybe he rested today. Let's see. I don't know. Don't care. I just hope Rizzo comes back. Yeah. And Giancarlo says, "Yo, I'm ready." Um, I think I think once the Yankees get Rizzo, uh, and then they get Giancarlo back, um, obviously the lineup is going to be more balanced. But Judge is going to have some type of freaking help. I mean, hopefully from what these guys at uh, the bottom of the lineup showed us today, they pick it up and continue heading into Seattle. I think the Yankees uh, Chris, will find their winning ways again. Chris, look what, series. look what Wayne and I was doing right before he started today. He was dancing. Yeah, he gave the phone to the lady. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> Oh my god, bro! I just I can't like I I don't know, bro. I, I 
Everybody's uh-huh. nobody's like scared right now. And the Yankees are like, <laughs> like <laughs> my, my guy. This my shit is crazy, focused, bro. He's dancing. So Metro uh Metro Bowman, <clears throat> he says that Rodriguez will be back Wednesday, but it did get Mitch Hanniger back. Great. Um, that's a big bat. So we're gonna face their best. So hopefully we're in a position to try to win a series and sweep the Mariners and not try to like you know i mean split the first two and then try to go back and forth in game three so all right he's fine you're winning ways again please yes yankees please go back it's guys i i might be going out on the limb but this was a lot more fun to do and and the game was the games are a lot more fun to watch and you guys are winning a lot i mean can you guys go back to doing that That'll be great. That'll be just, great. Just, just saying. Thanks. Anyway, man, from Chris and I and the chat, the lovely chat, the awesome chat that came in that are in here today on this Sunday evening. We're closing in on 11 o'clock. Appreciate you guys hanging out and being here. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys smash that like. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on notifications. Follow us on socials. And go to shop.java video. This therapy session was brought to you by Finn Stripe Straw. And like I always say, make sure you guys keep your bitch stripes out. <laughs> and stay bitch stripes strong. We are it. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, uh, boys and girls, children of all ages. Um, it is time for the after pod. I appreciate you guys joining us here. Now, I Chris did ask me if I wanted to do after pod today because I was a little tired. <coughs> Not a little tired, big tired, like no one's tired. I'm like, no, are you tired? He says, I'm big tired. So there's mm-hmm. big tired. Kids are going back to school, so this isn't going to be like the longest one, the the longest pod, like how they used to be and, and whatnot. But <laughs> you know, we do it all the time. Yeah, it won't that's be that. Right. But uh, we're going to go ahead and do the after pod. You know, Jared, Jared loves Asia. No, that's a that's a bot, a loser bot. Jared has a wrench. Jared Williams has a wrench in the chat. That was weird. Who is this guy? Um, a loser. <laughs> I mean, that's just kind of like what it is. Ah, I gotcha. Yeah, so. <sighs> After pa, yeah. Right, After pa, like, some, some people, some people wanted me to take a shot. I'm take a shot right now. Take a shot. No, I'll take a shot. I'm not taking a shot. No, no, you can't take a shot. I'm not taking a shot. Um, I, can t- I can take a shot. Um, I don't understand. Yeah, I don't understand why that keeps happening. I guess they do have multiple accounts, but I guess I'll hold on. Let me just I'll set up for Nightbot here to do this. Do this now. Do this now. After the party, it's the after party, and after the party.